good morning guys welcome back to the vlog we are getting our first big rain since we fixed the pond back here and so far it's holding up but i don't know if that it's going to it's supposed to rain all day but if you can tell everywhere else in our yard is flooding and the camera's not doing it justice i'll take you to the front yard so you can see up there too so here's the front yard <laughs> it's like we're on the worst lot ever if you notice our front yard's starting to flood now but nobody else's is like if you see across from us theirs isn't we've walked around we just have apparently the worst yard ever <laughs> we go down a lot lower we're noticing too like when we pull in our driveway it's angled where everybody else's is flat and so we're just not realizing like our house must be set down a little lower but yeah we're gonna watch this all day together because we're stuck inside anyways but we're really stuck inside because of all the rain and it is supposed to rain all day there's even a chance for a tornado so there's no telling how this video is going to end up so definitely stay tuned and watch and see what happens okay i'm going to continue to give you updates just on the pond all day long just so you can kind of see what it's doing but we really won't know until like tomorrow or the next day to see if it'll actually flood out like and drain better but i was getting ready and i know we just talked about lashes in my last vlog but i found finally decided to try these and they were the ones that like I said were magnetic but I couldn't see the magnets on them so I don't think they're actually magnetic so I started reading about them and these are the mink ones I'll leave them linked down below and these are in stock and you get three sets for $9.99 so super good deal it's what I have on right now and they're my new favorite so I'm really liking these um I feel like they look a lot like my extensions and they are so much easier to put on um instead of like the magnetic kind I felt like I would put on that liquid eyeliner and you had to wait for it to dry but if you waited too long it wouldn't stick but if it was too wet it didn't stick i don't know i had a hard time figuring out when to put it on let me go grab the glue for this so they say it's not glue or magnets but let's be real it's got to be one or the other i think it's like a this says eyeliner instead of a glue but in all reality i think it's a glue eyeliner so you put this on and it's a super thin um tip right there I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this right there super thin when I was doing the um, magnetic liner it was just like I don't know I didn't feel like I had much control I feel like not much of this comes out which is nice so you can control it better and as soon as I swipe it on my eye like above my eye like just where you put eyeliner my eyelid I just set the eyelash on and it sticks so these are definitely my favorite like I said it's $9.99 for three pairs um they're lighter I didn't realize the magnetic pair how heavy it was until I put these on I don't even feel these on my eye they last all day there was like one time it was super windy and I sneezed all day and was working outside and like the end came undone and I just came in here and like picked it up added a little bit of eyeliner and stuck it back on and we were good to go so you can definitely check those out I know a lot of us are just having problems like with our eyelashes since we don't have extensions and I just wanted to share that because I found it helpful um so I am preferring these as my favorite now so I just wanted to share that with you guys if it's helpful or not I promise I won't keep talking eyelashes on this channel but I know a lot of us are having issues <laughs> um but I really think I'm going to try these. So I have an appointment for like May 3rd. I think that's when she's supposed to be able to open back up. Now, I don't know if that'll change like as it gets closer. But I think I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. I mean, I can always go back in June or July if I get sick of these. But I really think for the price of them, I love the way they look. I mean, I loved going to bed with eyelashes and waking up with eyelashes. But I just don't know if that is worth the cost of it when I can just wake up. And I'm not going to lie, guys. Today, I left them off because I had to like actually wash my hair. But the days that I don't wash my hair... Um, I just wake up and come in here and immediately put my lashes on even if I'm not doing my makeup I just put my lashes on and it's the same as the extensions how I would be walking around with no makeup on put them on so I just want to share that with you guys um, Now I'll just show you what the backyard's looking like Okay, our hummingbirds are back. We noticed the other day it came back so we hurried and put up oh I scared it We put up our hummingbird feeders I just buy these and new every year from Dollar Tree because by the end of the year they're like pretty nasty It's dark so you guys can't see right now, but I'll show you later in the daylight 
Chase has been out there checking <laughs> to see if it's draining at all. So he'll give us a little mini update, but it's definitely flooded. There's definitely no way we can fix this backyard without just like re-leveling ours and the neighbors and everybody's. Okay, let's see. So what's the update? Well, it's it's draining to the creek in the two spots. You know, the one that he made, the little mm -hmm. drainage ditch, it is draining from the neighbor's yard into ours and then through that. So that's good, it's pushing it back. And then our natural one on the left side, it's pushing back to the creek, but um, it's definitely all still standing on the sod where the old blue <laughs> spot was. There's our sod we put in. Yeah, it's about 80% underwater, you think? So we'll find out what's gonna happen with that. I feel like we did a lot of wasted money, but. I that though, for the neighbors back there, the creek has flooded into theirs as well. So it's just everybody around here. It's just a bad, it's a bad yeah. rain. So. The, uh, yeah, just the uh, developers never made a good drainage system. Lovely. Lovely. At least he built a pretty house. <laughs> and Savannah's doing homeschool. Yes. Tell them how many days you have left. Is it? Seven? I think it was like a, I think eight. Eight, eight. Days? eight days? Yeah. Eight days. Woo! Eight days. Woo! We are so excited and ready to be done. She's going out her state map. You guys probably already went over that. Uh, what? Showed that she's doing her state map. No, we haven't. I have all of them down now. She yeah. knows. All the, all the states and pretty much all the abbreviations. We printed this out for at first because we got sick of like telling her what they were. But now as she's writing them, she's learned it. So it's like a two for one. She's learning where they are and then the abbreviation and then next we'll start the capitals. Okay, real quickly, I don't know if I even mentioned my hair is wet. I'm just letting it air dry. I will hit it with a dryer before it gets all the way dry just to help with volume. But I've been trying to put as little heat on my hair as possible since we're stuck at home. But I also wanted to let you guys know I do have merch. I've been getting tons of questions about will I ever be making merch. I already have it. This is one of the shirts. I have shirts that say till back and do us part. I have shirts that have like different quotes on them but if you're on your phone or on a desktop it should just be like right below the screen right now and you'll see the shirt and some hoodies and some other things but I've just been getting a lot of those questions so I do have it um it's just down below if you want to check it out but this is my outfit for today probably the same thing that you guys are wearing t-shirt cardigan leggings and then I'll throw on house shoes later if I get chilly or flip-flops. Um, I like going barefoot but I've noticed lately my feet really hurt at night if I don't put some type of shoe on just walking around on our wood floors all day so I have been putting some type of you know either flip-flop or house shoe or sandal or something on just to help. So here's just a little update of the house. I've been sitting there all morning. Apparently we still have Easter decor left out. Um, I'm washing all of our bedding and I did chases yesterday um, and I pulled it out of the dryer this morning so he has to fold that. I still have my comforter to work on. Savannah brought me her laundry basket. I have returns we need to eventually drop off at the mill um, from stuff I've been ordering and I'm about to curl my hair. Um, I did get some, I might try these on for you later. I've been ordering a few new shirts. This is like from Jane. Some of these from Apple Boulevard. I'm just trying to get like some of my spring and summer tops built up and I guess quarantine's getting to me because if you guys see this, there's there's some color in there, there's some print. I've gotten a few solids like right here, but it's definitely changing my style a bit, I guess just because maybe I'm so bored. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and then we'll move on to the next thing for today. Okay, and then this is how it turns out. Um, I do love the wand better than the straightener. I did a straightener for years, but I feel like this holds better. Um, I like to leave my hair straight some days, especially if I'm in like a time crunch. But if I'll just wash it, dry it, and then curl it, it'll last me a good three to four days, typically four days. And like when I wake up, I'll literally brush it out, 
throw some hairspray in it and it's good to go. Now every day it gets a little bit looser, but it's still just like a pretty wave. Um, so you guys will have to try that out if you're trying to like make your hair go longer. And this is the time to like train your hair if you're not like at work or going places. You know, when you're trying to first train your hair, it gets really oily. I have really oily hair, so I understand. I have to use dry shampoo every day. But if you can just go three or four days or go two days and wash your hair and then the next time go three days and then wash your hair and just kind of space it out, your hair starts getting used to it. And I've just learned when I curl it, then I touch it less. So I won't have heat on this for the next three days, possibly four. So it's just so much healthier on it as well. So I thought I'd share that little tip with you guys. Okay guys, we're in the car, it feels so good. We're in um, Chase's car because there's actually a chance of hell between like now and the next three hours and his car's worth a lot less than mine. So I was gonna say, my car is worth the deductible on your car if anything happens exactly. to us. Exactly, <laughs> and we live afar from town. It's not like we can just like go to town and come back. If we get stuck in town, we're like if stuck in town. If we can't find a town. bridge or a car wash to get under then. Yeah, so. Yeah, we're, so taking my car. we're in his. So if it seems darker, that's why his car is like super tinted. Um, but I wanted to show you, we all, um, we've had just like the normal mask, but um, Chase's aunt owns Little Llama Designs on Instagram. I'll leave her link down below, but she sent us face mask and it's sweet because there was like a little one, a medium one, and then a big one. But these are cool. Like one side he has baseball and the other is like orange. Um, she's so good to me. She did black and white on both of mine. And then Savannah's is really fun, her colors. Um, so we have those when we get out. Now Savannah and me are not getting out. I cannot tell you the last time I've left the car, like and been into a store or yeah. anything like that. It's been, I mean, well over a month. But Chase will get out, um, like if we can't get a grocery pickup, he will get out and go. Or um, if we do like a drive-through where they bring out food to us, if we always have masks, we have gloves. Um, so, but we all have these just in case, so it's nice. So you guys can definitely check out her pages. She's made me like really cute earrings and all sorts of stuff. But we're headed into town, like I said. We are going to do the bank, and then we're gonna pick up lunch while we're out. Um, a lot of our, uh, so all of our restaurants in Owasso have stayed open, um, and they're doing really good deals to try to like keep their doors open. So um, we're gonna get pizza today from, Swanskis. I can never say it right, so I'm gonna let him say it. But basically you get two pizzas for, so it's buy one, get one free. So you get it for $9, and like, it'll last us two meals each, so it's like four meals total. Yeah, they're two 10, 10 inch pizzas. They have six slices on each one, and we only eat three or four slices max. So then the next day we always have two or three pieces left over, and they're really good pizzas. So nine bucks feeds us twice, so it's a really good deal. So if you have one in your area, you might check it out. I know Olive Garden's doing like the buy one, take one. We've only we, done that one, one time, time in the month. Yeah, they're, they seem to be struggling. Like when we drive past there all day, like they're just sitting outside. I don't know, it's hard. Chick-fil-A, our Chick-fil-A is packed. You would have no idea, but they have like hand washing stations set up. Um, it's cool seeing what companies are doing. Like nobody touches our card now. They just like hand it, like they'll hold the system and we put our card in and out or yep. we slide it. Um, a lot of places are like carrying plastic bins. So like they don't even hand us the food. They put it in a bin and then we pick it up out of the bin. So I don't know, I think it's cool how people are getting creative. But my point is we're out. So I'm gonna show you our drive so you guys can see the world <laughs> since you've just been seen inside my house. Calling me a mad woman, mad woman. No, I don't really care. I don't really care. Yeah, it's for your time and your business. If I'm a mad woman. Okay, we're about to pass Chick-fil-A, so I wanted to show you what it looks like. It's literally in the road. So it's wrapped like in the street down the parking lot and then it comes back up. So it's like a big old curve. Do you guys see that? That is insane. People want their Chick-fil-A. Yes, they do. Okay, Savannah has her little mask on. You look adorable. Yeah. The cutest little quarantine girl I've ever seen. Chase has his on and then plastic gloves so we can go through the ATM. <laughs> Man. Got has, my baseball. Has the world changed? It sure has. This is insane. <laughs> Okay, and then if you're wondering what I look like in mine, hey, this is it. Quick and fancy. 
I wonder if you can even hear me. Like, You'd be the think? prettiest bank robber I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> While we're here, we could go in. Yep. <laughs> so we're out and it's starting to hail. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna turn right just in case. See if we can find a place to park. Oh yeah. Luckily it's not huge right now, but, and oh yeah, I don't know if you can see the ground. It is white like snow. I don't think my camera's picking it up. We need some type of like covering. We pulled into a bank and everybody's in a parking spot, but nobody's pulled up to these. We're all just hiding our cars. Now, if somebody were to come like behind us, we'd move, but nobody's here. It's pouring right now, but it looks like the hill's kind of backing off a little bit. Yeah, as soon as it stops, but it's funny, like eh, these are all full, but nobody's up to there and the tellers are just watching us. <laughs> They're probably worried about their cars out here. I feel bad. That's horrible. We're on our way home and now there's a fire, which I think it might be controlled. Like yeah. I think they're burning trash, but man, fire, hell, <laughs> rain, Wind. germs. <laughs> just so Everything. much, so much going on. Okay, so here are the pizzas we've got. I just always get the, it's like pepperoni and double cheese, isn't it Chase? Yeah. And then what do you get? I get, um, Barbecue and chicken. Ooh, it's good. And these onions are so good. Yeah, it's got um, red onions, barbecue sauce, chicken. I take off the jalapeno slices just because I don't know how hot they are. I was going to say, I normally steal a few of these onions and put them on mine because they are so yummy. Okay, so there are like tornado watches for this evening, kind of after 5.30 and it's 4.45 and I was about to get our laundry room ready. So I always get questions what we do if there's a tornado since we don't have a shelter here. Um, normally we'd go to family, but um, we can't do that right now with social distancing. So what we normally do if it's like in the middle of the night or late or we don't have time to go, um, I set up our laundry room. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that prepped just in case the sirens were to go off. We also have an emergency bag I like to throw in there. Um, Chase's grandma actually made this for us. So I'll go through and just kind of show you kind of the stuff that's in there. Okay, so I haven't been through this bag in years. She made this for us and we just always keep it up in the closet. Um, and this isn't just for tornadoes. It's just if there's an emergency. So we have like mask and goggles, um, a first aid kit, duct tape, a little radio. What else is there? Um, here's like a safety light. And Doris, if you're watching, thank you for doing this for us. There's flares, bandana, there's a lot of water in here. There's more masks. We've actually should have pulled these out sooner, which we've had some. We're just not starting to run low. Um, there's antibacterial, deodorant, Tylenol, wet wipes, um, head and shoulders. So she's got all of this packed for us. So all we'd have to do is grab it and go. I've been getting short on gloves. I'm so glad I found these because it's an emergency. Now, I would never pull this out if it's not an emergency, but I think the world's an emergency. So I'm gonna pull these out for Chase when he goes into stores. And um, there's other gloves, there's lights, another first aid kit, so just stuff like that all in here. So I like to throw those in. Um, here's a poncho. So I just like to throw that in there with us. So if something were to happen, we have supplies. I also make sure we lay out tennis shoes. If we're up, we just have them on. My mom always taught me that. Like if there was like a tornado warning, you don't want to have like not have shoes or have like slippers or, um, you know, like worst case scenario, if we get hit by a tornado and we have to like crawl out of our house, like if it gets hit or around us, you want good shoes on to protect your feet. So we always have tennis shoes out. I make Savannah do that. We'll get lots of blankets. But as far as setting up the laundry room, I like to go in there and take the stuff off the wall because I have all my mops and vacuums and brooms. Um, I like to close off the cabinets, like I'll rubber band them, but you'll see me clean up that space. I'll probably just put it to music since I'm like telling you what I'm doing now. But the idea of it is if a tornado comes and it's moving things, I'm trying to prevent things from like falling on us that we can. Now, obviously if it's a tornado, there's probably a lot of stuff. Um, I know a lot of people have helmets. Um, you can put like a mattress over you. You can, if you have like um, a crib mattress, that's the easiest one. Cause you can 
pull it out of the bed real fast. Like we have big size mattresses here, so it wouldn't fit in that room, but that's something else you can grab. Um, we go to our laundry room because you're not supposed to be on an outside wall or a wall that has windows. Well, that's very hard here in Oklahoma because our houses are getting such like big open floor plans. Um, I always grew up, you went to the bathroom and you could put a mattress over the bathtub. Like they normally say the bathtub's always there when a tornado hits, but all of our bathrooms have windows. So that is not safe for us at all. So the laundry room is the safest part. You're supposed to be in the center of your house with no outside wall. So that's the best we can do. That's our laundry room. Every other room is either an outside wall or has windows. So let's go set that up real quickly. Okay, so this is how I set up the laundry room. I'll put her bag up here. We'll also throw more pillows in here. I'm just not gonna grab them yet. But this is just kind of how I prep the space when I know a tornado is possible because we would not have time to do all of this if the sirens start going off. We wouldn't just have a place to go. So the idea is to get in here and shut the door and just get the blankets on top of us. Obviously, Savannah would go on bottom and I'd just kind of like hover over her and Chase would hover over me. I don't get scared. I've grown up here. I've never seen a tornado, but I always want to be prepared. So we would just go in here and shut the door. The dogs would go with us. Um, I will take rubber bands and wrap these and I will throw more pillows in here, but that's how we prepare for a tornado. You guys always wonder. I do take the lamp out just so it won't fall and shatter on us. I put all of our stuff in here and then I just close this door. So it's only during like when the seasons change, so I don't have to do this often. But when I do have warning, I go ahead and take everything off that I can just to prepare for as much safety as possible. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and end this here. I did want to let you guys know though, our govern governor here in Oklahoma, Oklahoma just released a statement that he's opening up our state on Friday. So when you guys are actually watching this, all of our like salons, like hair salons, nail salons, that's all getting to open back up, which I'm in shock. Now, I don't think the towns that are like Owasso and Collinsville, all the towns I am, I think we have a special mandate that they're not going to open up till May 1st, but we will definitely not be going out in that first wave. I know they said once May 1st hits, um, churches and all that are going to open back up. I'll keep you guys updated, like as it all happens and what's going on, you know, as far as Oklahoma, but I know when that first wave hits and things start opening, we're not going out in the public yet. <laughs> so we're going to wait and just kind of see what happens. We're fine being huddled down. There's nothing that important to get out to. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am a little shocked by it. I think it's a little soon. Um, but I know people need their jobs. I know it's very debatable. So I don't want to start something in the comments. But as far as my family goes, we're going to stay inside even though it's Friday and I could go get my lashes done or my nails or a pedicure. That just seems insane um, to put other people at risk for things like that. But I wanted to share that with you guys of what's going on in here in Oklahoma. I am going to end this here. If for some reason the sirens go off or the weather gets bad, I will add a clip to the end of this. So definitely don't click off yet. Make sure there's nothing behind this clip. Um, because if something were to hit, I would try to vlog it in there as like safety, obviously, if it's like a tornado is actually coming. But if the weather gets bad or the sirens are going off, um, and I have my camera, I'll turn that on for you guys. If not, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, the last storm just passed. It's like 7.30 or it's probably gonna rain more, but I think the biggest one passed. I'm gonna take you guys out here one more time. Yes, I have to just leave rain boots out here. Um, first off, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. The sky is beautiful. It's always the bluest after a storm, so it's so pretty. But I wanted to take you out and show you like, this is all flooded, that's all flooded. That's where we just added that whole load of dirt. We moved the shed over here because it doesn't flood. <laughs> and it's all flooded right there. And this is after like it slowed down. This is where the pool goes. So now we're really nervous about putting up the pool for a while. 
even over here, like this is just drenched. And then here is where we spent all of that money, putting in two loads of dirt, all the sod. But man, as much as I see this, that's just an amazing sky. That is a gorgeous view. But yeah, it was definitely probably just a waste. We're gonna see, I'll show you where he dug like the trench. Um, Cause it is running out. Like I think it's gonna drain faster. But right now, there's really nowhere for it to drain. Basically the pond's full, so it's backed up back here. So this should just be a ditch back here. There's never water back here. And it's even with our fence. That's how high it is right there. I'll bring you back here another day, but there's normally no water there. It's just like their backyard meets our backyard. But you can see it's draining naturally right here. It just has nowhere to go. And then walk across this. This one it is pulling from our yard and our neighbor's yard. And it is, this drench or this trench is taking it. So the good news is once this clears out, I think it's gonna help it dry it faster because look how much it's holding. And the water movement, you can see it's moving that way. So we'll know tomorrow, Savvy's playing in the water. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be like a sunny, warm day, so we can see how much this clears up. Um, if I have time, I think our neighbors are out there. If I have, they're over there. Yeah. Um, if I have time, I'll come out here one more time and add a clip to the end of this vlog so you can see how much it's cleared up. But this is absolutely insane. So we just spent a lot of time and money back here for nothing, unless it drains quickly. And George is still on the leash because you guys know what he'll do. <laughs> and this is our neighbor's dog out having the time of his life. Say hi, Jake. Yay. <laughs>